they teach you this in dental school? No. Yeah. This is like voodoo mm -hmm. or black magic or... Measured matters. All right, so we're at CNO1, September 2019. So what did you guys think? First of all, where are you from? I'm from Rogers, Arkansas. Uh, Grand Prairie, Texas. Okay. It's, you a, it's really different than what we've been taught in school and how we've been practicing. Um, it's hard to even put words to it. I mean, I, literally yesterday and today is the first time I've seen a lot of this kind of thing. Yeah. And it's almost uh, like voodoo or, or black magic or something. So it, it's, but it's, it's real. Freaky. It's freaky. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to see someone with cold, what I would think of as cold hypersensitivity, they call that the reversible pulpitis. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes that stuff does happen. But to see and experience that instantly go away, it's it's a game changer. We even saw see. it with you, didn't we? Yeah, and that's why... You're living it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why for me, I'm even... I, and you're a dentist. Yeah, yeah, I'm a dentist. I lived it, I, I experienced it, and I'm still... Even just saying these words, it's difficult for me right now because it's just, yeah, it's so different. If it wasn't for the fact that I, you know, I did the ice water swish and then I felt the, the yeah, difference. Yeah, the whole thing, it was a big change. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, as a periodontist, what do you think? I mean, I know this is a little bit outside the box for what you do, but... I think that after you can explain it the way you do, it's common sense stuff. Yeah. Like, it really makes sense. The patients get it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The patients... Yeah. But they're not clouded by the dogmatic stuff that we've been taught. We think we know it all because we went through all the training and all the boards and we think we got all the answers, but we don't. Yeah. I mean, the Thank smartest you. of us realize the more I learn, less I know, right? I'm dumber now than I ever was. But the whole point is I want to get this out there to people because I want to help them do a better job. So. Well, and, and I think you do a really good job of blending, and it makes sense because you're a dentist, of blending the the dental part, showing the bites, showing how the excursives are, and then showing the joint with the MRI and the CBCT, it, it just makes sense to put all these puzzle pieces together. Yeah. And, it, I mean, it, you can't help but look at something like that. And, I mean, it's like if you see something's green, it's green. You know, or yeah. unless you're colorblind, I guess. But Yeah, well, <laughs> if you visually see it and experience it, it makes a big difference for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge deal. Uh, do you recommend it for other people, other dentists? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. I think so too. Knowledge every dentist should have, for sure. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. This is how we make them understand and own the fact that you've got a cervical problem and or sympathetic, probably both. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? I did, I did the water swish. Yeah. Sensitive. And like sure. I was saying yesterday, then he did greater... Oh, yeah, it is numb. He did greater auricular on the left. Yesterday? Just, just now. now. Just now. Okay. And then it went down... Like I was a five, maybe and I'm like a two, and then I don't have the sensitivity on the bottom now, or after that one, and then he did right, and then it went down just a little, little bit more. And it's kind of freaking me out. <clears throat> and so, what do you feel? Obviously, you get some movement. Yeah, I feel. I feel like almost, almost like a high or something. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. <laughs> I mean, does this all feel numb? Does your face feel numb? Face doesn't really. No, face doesn't feel numb. This feels a little different. <laughs> okay, measure matters. That's all I got to say. Understand <laughs> in the pain world, because in the pain world, we would select a treatment position as a posture where the condyle is not fully seated, where the condyle is down and forward at the point where the patient has either acceptable discomfort or or no pain. So real quick, if you look kind of <laughs> obliquely, I'm looking right. The anteriors don't really even couple. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. So don't just think teeth. We already kind of talked about some of that, right? So that's kind of a problem because you know, you just have to believe me when I tell you back teeth hyperfunction muscles until you read the stuff and start doing it yourself. Okay, but look, this side doesn't occlude real well. You guys see that? Looks like she's doing a little bit more over here, but that's all subjective, it looks like, right? You did some magic. You did something here and something here, and I swooshed and it hurt. 
And then once he was done, the pain is gone. And it took five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> she missed that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you.